Before Hurricane Milton, Helene devastated several states in the southeast. Many are still struggling to recover. Today, NOAA released a before and after of Chimney Rock, North Carolina. The town is one of hundreds hit by massive landslides. Our Dave Malkoff explains how new technology could help predict and prevent these catastrophes. These geologists are on a mission. This seems historic. It's unclear that there's ever been a storm this widespread that caused this much damage in this area. Ben Miris and Francis Ringers are using laser scans and GPS cameras accurate down to one inch. Oh my God! These are the more than 600 Helene landslides they've mapped out so far. Once we get up into the air and once we get satellite imagery, we expect to find hundreds, if not thousands of landslides. Thousands of landslides? If this event is consistent with previous events where this much rain fell, then yes, we expect there might be thousands of landslides. What we're seeing is that rainfall events are getting more extreme. And Meanwhile, so at NASA extreme, outside of Washington, D.C., Dr. Dahlia Kirschbaum is looking down from space. Well we have over two dozen satellites and instruments orbiting Earth from NASA. The map on this giant wall shows where NASA satellites are seen rainfalling right now. Those pulsing circles are where landslides have happened around the world. What we try to do at NASA is understand the different conditions around which landslides may happen. Data collected from NASA, the USGS, and other scientists with the help of artificial intelligence will soon help predict landslides. My hope is that a community can take this model and effectively apply it and use it running in their community to better understand and even anticipate where we have the highest hazard for landslides. Better predictions and preparations to help save lives. Dave Malkoff, CBS News, Atlanta.